right, so I'm just gonna do a video, a uh, real quick, on uh, four ways you can you can wear uh, a fixed blade without needing a belt. And um, on in the very end, it's gonna be pretty like a pretty long tutorial. But I'll, I'll show you how to wear this one, and all you need is basically paracord. So I'll get started. All right, so the first one is this one, and basically it's just a, a regular sheath with quarter inch eyelets. But the main thing is it has an ulti clip, and it's a it's a mini ulti clip. So, for this one, the, this particular clip, it doesn't have, so, so instead of having an individual hole for a screw, it has little slots so you can move it up and down. And then for this sheath, I just put different eyelets at different pl places so I can just move it around wherever I want to. And this you can actually use on your waistband or in your pocket. And then sometimes I wear it like this. And then when you sit down, it actually moves out of the way. So, that's just how it looks. Taking it out, this is how it looks with your shirt over. Okay, all right. And the second one is is just a regular neck knife. So, so just paracord, and I doubled it up just so it doesn't shave or anything. And this is actually I use this when I go running. So it flops around, uh, but I I wear it over, like underneath my shirt and it's fine that way. So this is how it basically looks when you take it out. And it's, um, the only problem is it's easy to get to, very accessible, but it's just the movement. So, so like if you bend down to grab something, it moves to the side or, or flops forward. So it's, it's, it gets in the way a lot. So that's the main problem with this. And so this one is just over the shoulder. And this actually has, has a little um, knot on there that you can actually slide up and down. And this knot is basically the same thing as this knot. And this, I'll show you, this is the knot I use later on in the, in the tutorial for, for how to make this, this configuration. And it's basically this knot, but just with a ton of loops. I might show how to make this in the future. So this one goes this way. So this is second best. You can, so like I said, you can adjust it close up and down, closer to your body, body or, or lower. And um, for this one, like very accessible, like easy to take out. And um, same thing though, the problem with this one is that when you do bend down to get something, it doesn't really matter how tight you have it, it will slide forward. And then it will just like slide up and down. It will, it will, I mean, flopping up sideways and stuff isn't that bad because you can't really get rid of that. But the main problem is that that'll you get down you get down to get something it'll slide forward get in your way, all right. And then the last one. So this is actually something I saw, that actually as, as a YouTube video. So somebody by the name of uh, Exacto and it's spelled X four C T O. So he had he actually thought of this configuration himself. So beautiful, brilliant, um, and it's actually like what I found works the best. So the same thing paracord. But what it has is it has a little bead in the center, just like a regular lanyard bead, and a little toggle that holds these, these ends in place. And the way this works, so you just put it through your, uh, just like all, all these that have paracord, you just put it, put it through your eyelet. It's a quarter inch eyelet. And then, but you wear it behind, behind your back, kind of like a, like a pistol brace kind of just adjust it but with this so so what's super nice with this is that like this you have it here uh, on the side it's very accessible um, very nice but the thing is with this one when you bend down or do do something it doesn't slide forward so like even if I want it to slide forward it won't all it does is just pivot from where you have it originally and once again this one that's why you see these little two pieces um, you can adjust it more towards the front you can adjust it more towards the back by letting go of this one and then pulling on this one so there's there's a bunch of ways you can adjust it I'll show you too how it looks in the back but um, you can keep it lower forward back and it'll, it'll stay there basically the only thing is it'll move around flop around but it stays in one, one, one point the whole time. And how it looks in the back is, I'll show it to you. 
So the way it looks here is, is this is how it works. So you have it, you have the bead in the middle, and because the bead is small, it doesn't really print on anything. So if I were to wear this underneath my shirt or wear it underneath a like a jacket or something, I mean of course in the jacket it's not gonna show, but underneath the shirt, this wouldn't even show too, because it's so small, the bead's so small. But like let's say I want to have it like tighter on this side. So this this my my right arm is actually pulling more. I can move the bead over to the right side, or if I want to have more more of a weight distribution to my left side, I can have the bead move over to the left. So super nice. Uh, it is definitely my favorite. And uh, if you just have if the only thing you have is basically paracord. Um, the next part is the tutorial, basically. So I'll show you how to make one of these. If you have paracord or even um, like a like a nice size string or rope or whatever, as long as it's around a quarter inch, you should you should be fine. And um, yeah, we'll go to that. Okay, so this is the tutorial part of the video. Um, and this is my idea is um, in case I mean it's not gonna. This is the best I think the best way of doing it. Um, the way that it, Exacto basically came up with. So, so a bead, um, and this is a titanium bead. Um, I got it just because it won't rust, it won't, you know, it won't corrode or nothing. But just it's just a paracord bead, and then a toggle um, is is probably the best setup you can do. So what I'm going to show you, my idea is, um, like let's say you're kind of interested, uh, and you do have paracord or just any 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 string or whatever that you want to use. Um, it's it's a, uh, showing you the knots I'm gonna use. It's a way of you just trying what if trying it out and seeing if you actually like it. And if you do, I would highly recommend just getting uh, a bead and then a toggle. And the reason for that is is because this actually um, you can slip it back and forth. It and it's not as bulky as as the as the knot I'm gonna show you. Um, so this it's harder to see. So like let's say you want to wear this underneath your um, a shirt or uh, or whatever um it's harder to see this little this little bead than it is to to see the the knot i'm going to show you the toggle itself um even though it's it's bulkier um in this will this will be under underneath your armpit basically but this doesn't slip so if you get a good toggle that um that has that's that's pretty heavy duty it won't slip so and the knot i'm going to show you uh, it, even though it's hard for it to move on its own, um, there is a chance that it'll move, um, even though you don't want it to. But you can you can uh, just add a add a knot, which I'll talk about later on in the in the video. So, all right. So I'll just um, the things you need basically is just some paracord, and this piece here is going to be six six feet, um, and this is the one that's actually going to wrap around my shoulders. And then you do need a little bit extra for. Um, uh, for the little knots I'm gonna do so probably like another foot or two feet just to be sure so let's say eight feet but everybody has you know different body types so just keep that in mind um, but what I'm gonna be doing using is is around eight feet and then uh, a lighter and just you know scissors and then uh, whatever whatever um, sheath you're gonna put it on okay okay so I'm gonna start by just uh, making just a regular knot at the end of this this tip here so just a regular knot and you just want to push it as far as you can forward so it's nice to have a melted tip there um, just so you can push this all the way up and it won't slip so it just the little melted tip just holds it there all right so now I'm gonna do uh, the knot that's gonna replace this one and the second knot's gonna be the same thing but so first and you want like three turns basically so first I'm just gonna go like this and I think this is about enough space let's see for a little bit less okay so just go like that put it on top grab it all together here's here's my piece and I'm gonna start wrapping it towards towards this little loop over here so I'm gonna go right behind everything. All right, and then just one, two, 
and then three. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then I'm gonna put this inside of this loop. Okay, so let's see if hopefully it's all. So I went over it three times. Okay, and here's the little loop here. So I'm gonna wrap this around the head, the knot I made, and then just make sure it's over. And then I'm gonna pull, I gotta find which one it is. I'm gonna cinch that, that little thing. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna cinch that. Okay. So, there it is. So, like I said, you can tell it's bulky. See the difference, the size difference? Um, this, if you have it in the, like the small of your back, the, I mean the middle of your back, it won't really get, it won't be, it won't um, be a problem but you can twist this. So like, let's say you can twist this out or twist it down or whatever. Once, once you, I'm gonna cut this off and do a knot. But once I do that, I'll show you, I'll show you. Um, so the next thing is, so you have an option here. Um, so either I make a knot, which I'll do. I'll make a knot and put it right up against it like this and then, and then cut the end and then melt it. Oh. So either I can do that, but if I decide to un undo this for whatever reason, um, I can no longer do this knot again. Um, just because I won't have enough enough material to do that knot again. Or I can leave some space. Um, so I can do the knot and then cut off, leave, leave a bit out. So let me do the knot and show you. So I have a, a roll, so let me just do it with the roll. Right up. Okay. Okay, so, it's probably just easier to show you. So I'm gonna get this right up against. Right up against this, as much as I can. So I'm gonna just push up, like that. Okay, so, now what I was talking about is I can either cut this off here, melt the point, and I have this, you know, this this little piece that uh, won't move or anything. But also, if I want to undo it, um, I won't be able to to reuse this piece. But right here, I think for this um, for this particular spot, I think cutting it off and just melting it, and I, I, there's no real reason to redo it. Plus, this thing right here can just slide right off, but you still can't do even if you just slide this off. Slide, slide it off the end. You still you won't still won't be able to um to reuse it because then you have to like you won't have enough to to do these knots. But um I won't need, reuse it, so I'm just gonna cut this off. And you want probably about a quarter of an inch. You want to cut off and leave about a quarter of an inch so you can melt it. And I'll show you how to melt it too. So. Uh, um, a soft flame is way better than a torch. A torch, I find that you can't really tell where the heat is exactly. And a flame, you just um, you can just go sideways and just curve it and just touch whatever you you want to heat up. So you, if you do this underneath, there's a chance you can burn other stuff, but you can just have it more controlled if you just do this. And. Touch it, okay. All right, so you're gonna wanna touch that end, but don't do it. <laughs> um, and actually, wow, it melted and then just ran a bit. You can see how, how it ran off. Okay, whatever, but yeah, so it's crazy hot. One time when I first started this, I like licked my finger and went pss, and it melted the saliva I had on my finger and then stuck to my finger and burned it. So, yeah. All right. So then now you have this little bead, basically, essentially. And then you can just slide it. Let me just do this. Yeah, it's fine. So you can just slide it back and forth. See? 
so it's fine. So you can slide it back and forth, and you can set it up however you want, basically. You can twist this, twist this so that this is outwards, or you can twist it however you want. This is just so you can try it out, but like, like I said, the bead's different. I mean, the bead's better. All right, now the next part I'm gonna do, I'll show you in a second too. I'll start that in a second. Okay, so for this next part, I thought it'd be just be easier just to um, to pre-cut the piece and uh, and start from there. So if you do a knot, just like I showed you, and then um, measure it out, measure out 11 inches, and then that's what, what I'm gonna be using basically. So it's 11 inch piece with the knot. So the first thing you do is now is um, just take the point on one end and just put it through one of the eyelets and then take the other point from the same side and put it through the next eyelet. Now, um, I'm gonna do the same exact knot here. And uh, this knot, so there's other ways of doing it. You can add loops and you can do less loops. Like you can do, I guess you can do two and then one would just be like just a regular knot, I suppose. But um, for me, I found that three, just three turns, seems to be what's like kind of like a happy median. The more loops you have, um, the the more it's it's less likely for for your knot to move. It'll have it'll grab onto whatever you put it on a lot better. But um, it it also makes it bulkier. So this is this is kind of like you know not that bulky, and then also it still grabs on pretty good. So all right. And then for this end, I'm just gonna do the knot here. Uh, last time I started from, uh, I think it was like left to right, and this time I'm gonna do it right to left. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. So same thing, and I'm gonna go slow, just in case um, I didn't show something, in case uh, I missed, you know, like I missed something, hopefully this time you'll, you'll be able to see it better. So you just start like that, just fold it in half, and then you just put it over. And this time I'm gonna go underneath. Nothing really matters, but I'm gonna go underneath. Just make sure you have probably like about that much. So it's folded half, so probably about that much um, tip, and then just go one. Oh no, I'm gonna need more actually. Let me scoot that over. Okay show you there for a second. So I'm just gonna go one and then just make sure it's tight. Two. Oh no. <laughs> I still need more. Okay, what up? Alright, do even more. Okay, there we go. Okay, this much? Wow. Alright, one, two, and then three. Here we go. Cool. So here's three. And I have to go to where the, the loop is. And then just put the loop over the knot. Okay, so, so let me show you that. You just put the loop over the knot that you have already. Like that. And then what I'm gonna do is just hold it there. And I'm just gonna pull on, pull on the, the other end of the of the rope. So just pull as hard as you can basically. Okay. Nice and tight. Okay. Looks like that. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, wrong one. Alright. Now the reason I did it that way is that here actually let me finish this. So now you just do a regular knot on this end. Just a regular knot, looks like a pretzel. And then just push it. So now it's like, it's still loose. When it's still loose, grab it from one end. And then just slide it forward, 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 as much as you can. There you go. Okay. All right, now I mentioned this in the other knot, but 
On this knot, you might want to leave a little bit on the end. Um, and the reason for that is, well, first of all, the reason I did it the opposite way is because I want this end to match with these ends. I don't want this. If I would have done it the other way, this would be sticking up like this the whole time. So just make sure this end coincides with, with the other ends. But instead of cutting this off here and then melting it like I did the other one, you might want to um, to leave a little bit here in case you want to, like let's say, let's say you like this knot, you know, um, you like the, this setup. Uh, if, if you want to change uh, sheaths, if you want to put on another another knife or whatever, this gives you enough space that you can actually undo this and then just redo it. Just just do it like I did. Undo it and then just follow the same steps again. And then um, you can change sheaths and all that and it's fine. You're not wasting uh, paracord. And um, But if in case, you know, you're afraid this will like loosen up or something, you can just do do what I did with the other one, just cut that off and then just put it there. Talking about that actually, um, if you do get a toggle, it is a pain to put to put the paracord through there. And once you actually have it through there, if you do want to change um, sheaths, you actually have to cut the tip off, the melted the melted tip off, to actually slide them out. So just a heads up. Okay, so yeah, so let me do that just match, so I can match the the other knife. Let me see. A little bit this way. Okay. So yeah. There we go. Which one's this one? One's a little bit longer. No, it's not that one, it's this one. Oops. Okay. Cool. Alright, so yeah. There you go. So, um, just in case, it's if it's something you want to try out, I thought it'd be fun to just do a little tutorial. If you do have any questions, um, let me know. I like uh, if there's something that's kind of foggy, if I didn't like go over it right. And then if um, on the other setups too, if you have any questions on those, let me know too. Okay. All right. Bye.